Hey guys, let's get back into this. Let's start up the first level of the game, Planet Novalis. Top rock crater. First, let's see if I have enough bolts to buy a real weapon. No, probably don't. No. Freaking power side is 2,500. Yeah, all not, I'm not saying that the bomb glove isn't a real weapon. I love the bomb glove. Major love for the bomb gloves. The most classic weapon you can... Oh. I'm going to start failing at simple jumps during this entire game, aren't I? I really hope that thunder outside isn't too loud, because that's really going to mess up my recording. There we go. These next guys are hell good. Kind of stalled on that double jump. There's another one in here, right? I guess there was two. I could have sworn there were more than two in here. I thought there were like three. Whatever. I'd love to buy some bomb glove ammo, because for some reason, you don't start with all 40 bomb glove ammo. But, uh, I'm gonna save money. And, oh, you guys, I hate. Also, these things, it's weird. They'll knock you back, but you don't actually lose any health, see? Oh, well. Don't fall down there, because you'll have to redo this whole area. God. Enemies that use weapons that are basically the same as yours, or similar to yours, I hate. Like, those guys, their weapons are a lot like the bomb glove, and they're really annoying. Come on. Come on down. Of course. Wait till I grab on for you to come down. Another one. Another one. I'm always paranoid when I turn corners, because I haven't, um, started a new file on this game in forever. So I always think, like, something horrible is gonna come at me from the other side. Oh, come on, I double jumped. I, got, I really got to get used to playing this game again. Even though I love this game to death, I just don't play it enough. Uh, there we go. Yeah. You see, look, look at that. It's like a horrible rookie mistake. This is my favorite game ever. I'm shaming you right now, Ratchet. I'm sorry. No. Uh, I wanted to wait for me to get to it before I went back up. Yeah, don't fail on these jumps, Ratchet. Your composure is at stake. When I was younger playing this game, I would always have to walk really slow on these platforms. Because for some reason, I just couldn't get the hang of walking fast and turning the camera at the same time. It's easy, though. And yay, now we get our first cutscene of Novalis. Blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you that um, those things are called infobots. Alright. Well, we better grab those two bolts or else we'll never afford that info bot. Alright, I think we're good. Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the Solar Ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Fight down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am screen! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron okay. Infobots give you coordinates. Yeah, okay. I'll explain that. I'll explain that. Thank you very much. Nice help, desk lady. Yeah, okay, so Infobots, they basically show you a video and it allows you to fly to a new planet. So basically, if you want to get anywhere in this game, you gotta find Infobots. So, instead of going back the way we can I get that ammo, please? Thank you. 
So instead of going back the way we came, let's uh, follow the plumber. Head down here. Although for some reason in this game he's credited as the water worker, but everyone knows him as the plumber. No one will ever call him the water worker. Okay, probably a couple of viewers out there are probably like, What, I call him the water worker? You saying I'm some sort of weirdo? That's exactly what I'm saying. I don't want to buy ammo though. I'm trying to save up my bolts. So speaking of bolts, let's go down this path. And I don't think there's anything down here except hidden stuff that we can get. Usually in um, the other games, like, oh, there are a couple bolts down here that we can grab. It literally is like five bolts down here. There's one I didn't even grab. Let's resurface before I drown. It's one thing I hate about this game, the drowning. And there is one part later in the game that gave everyone trouble. Don't tell me that it didn't give you trouble. Everyone who's played this game knows exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, now we're in the caves. Dark and scary and mystic, but don't hit me. I don't need any bombs in my face. I'm still not used to the way Ratchet moves. It's like, when I jump, I expect him to land where I jump instead of him to keep going forward. And these mushrooms are weird. For some reason, you can only break the short greens and the tall reds. See, here's the tall red. Break it. Short green. Break it. Tall red. Break it. But if it's a short red or tall green, like we have over here, it doesn't break. So just keep that in mind. Short greens, tall reds. Well, there are a lot of breakable things in here, like these, um... Stalagmites? Yes, I can tell the difference between stalagmites and stalactites. Those are breakable, and I could have sworn there were two down here. Guess not. Oh, I see those. I'll try and hide them from you. See, they're trying to hide bolts from me. They don't want me to get money. Up here. I really gotta get used to, like, speed swimming. I don't even think there's, like, a name for it. Just, like, swimming quickly, because... Um, in the other games, you don't have, like, that option to drown or anything if you're underwater too long. For, like, the second half of this game, you don't, so... It's not a problem for me, though. I probably won't even die by drowning in this game. Not even at that one point I just referenced earlier. But you'll see that later. Maybe I will on this TV, because I'm not used to this TV, and the angle I'm, uh, playing at, like, to sort of keep with the computer right now, like, get away from me. Yeah, like the angle I'm playing at, this is uh, throwing me off a bit. So that should be okay. As many bolts as I can, and I do want the pyro side. Although, uh, don't tell me, because I know that it's pronounced um, Parasider. It's just, I'm so used to calling it the pyro cider from when I was younger, I just can't seem to get to call it um, the Parasider. You know what? That's breakable. We come in here and we find the game's first gold bolt. Be an arrow. Oh, I love that sound. It's not that they took that sound out in the Ratchet and Clank Future series. Okay. I believe that is everything here. Oh, we got enough bolts for the power side. Oh, right. Expect that door to just open automatically. I forgot they rarely do that in this game. Like automatic doors, you never see those. You see them a lot in the other games though. Alright, I'll stop alluding to the other games, because you'll see those soon enough, don't worry. Alright, we got everything in here, let's go. 